Imagine two children called Ernie and Johnny. Instead of learning mathematics by doing arithmetic, they were first forced to learn logic and set theory. One day they find out about what ordinary people refer to as natural numbers, and they decide to translate natural numbers into the language of set theory. However, when they start to prove theorems about numbers, they face an unexpected dilemma. They cannot agree whether 3 belongs to 17 or not. Ernie is convinced that it does, but Johnny is convinced that it doesn't. After a long discussion, they compare notes and they realize what the problem is. Ernie's theorem states that for any two numbers x and y, x is less than y if and only if x belongs to y and x is a proper subset of y. Based on this theorem, 3 belongs to 17 because 3 is less than 17. Johnny's theorem states that, given two numbers x and y, x belongs to y if and only if y is the successor of x. Strangely enough, the number 3 is something completely different for Ernie than it is for Johnny. This disagreement is due to the fact that for Ernie, the progression of numbers looks like this, while for Johnny, the progression of numbers looks like this. It seems that numbers could not be objects at all, for there is no more reason to identify any individual number with any one particular object than with any other. In giving the properties of numbers, you merely characterize an abstract structure and the elements of the structure have no properties other than those relating them to other elements of the same structure.